Go. Back. Number eight and nine. I need you to understand that it is the will of God for you to have a lot of money. Money is good. If you are here and you don't like money, that means that I don't know the kind of person you are. It makes me understand that you are not a, a normal human being. Your systems are not functioning well. If your systems are functioning well, that means that you chase after money. And I'm going to explain deep and deeper things unto us. I'm not going to be wasting your time, but I'll make sure that I make things in brief. Hallelujah. Because I notice or I realize that the one that has money, look at me, look at me, please. The one that has money has the power. The one that has money is the chairman in the family. Who are the friends of America? The friends of America are the, I'm, I'm saying it, yes, listen. The friends of America are the oil rich countries. Why? Because of money. What you see in Haggai chapter 2 verse number 8 and 9, listen to me and listen real good because I'm going to be doing some teaching and preaching at the same time. Thank God for, for this new strength. I'm weak but God is here. Amen. Read it, read it, read it loud please. Ready, go. One, two, let's go. The summer is mine and the world is mine, says the Lord of hosts. See, if you are not having a Bible, please, I beg you with due respect. Can you sit with a brother or a sister who is having one? I beg you in the name of Jesus. Do this, do this for me. Sit with a brother or a sister who is having one. How can you come to a church without a Bible? It is wrong. But come, come. Do you have a Bible, please? My brother. My brother in glasses. Do you have a Bible? Sit, can you, please, I beg your body, can you, can, can you get closer to, to, to the other brother or you can sit with Dr. Eric? The only doctor in the house. Yeah. Put your hands together for him. Thank God for doctors. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. Please, I want you to scream and, and read it aloud and, 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 and you know, make some noise about it because I want the word to, to sink deep into your system. One, two, let's go. Amen. Amen. Please look at me straight. The silver is mine, the gold is mine, and the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former. So Bible, I mean, close your Bible and look at me. Let's listen to this verse. Let's listen carefully. The silver is mine. This is God speaking. Anytime when God is speaking, you realize that there will be some deep action in it. The silver is mine. The gold is mine. Say it, the Lord. And the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former. I repeat, the silver is mine, the gold is mine, sayeth the Lord. And the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former. Listen, I hear a lot of preachers preach and most of them they preach and they say that this particular scripture, because I have a problem with this scripture, that this one was talking about the glory of God. Because they said that the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former. But I come here to decree and to declare unto you that it was not talking about the glory of God. Because a lot of people were thinking that
that it was talking about the Shekinah glory of God and the Shekinah glory of God had to do with brightness, had to do with lightness, how great God is, how majestic he, he, he is, how, how wonderful he, he, he is, and how great he is. But if you read the preceding verse, it was saying that the silver is mine and the gold is mine, but the glory of the latter house shall and will be greater than the former. He was not talking about the Shekinah glory of God, but he was talking about a glory that is linked with wealth, that is linked with honor, that is linked with money. He was talking about money. He was not talking about the Shekinah glory of God. Hallelujah, somebody. Because this is God speaking. Is anybody hearing me at all? See, why is it that God was saying, or God is saying to us, that, that he, 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 he wants us to have more money than the former church. Because God saw, or God is saying, that in these last days, we are living in the world, and that world is controlled by money. The one that has money has the ability and has the power to do whatever he wants to do. Do you realize or do you notice that any time that you have money, you are being respected by people? Recently, I went to Africa, Ghana, and all of a sudden, some young men started singing my praises. They said, oh, prophet, oh, D, they gave me all the huge titles. Chief Oketuku Nyere one, Chief Okuofi also in Namadi one, Chief Ochendu, Ibe, your highness, they started washing my car, they started washing my clothes. It wasn't because of anything, but it was because of money. And God says that he wants us to have money. Hallelujah, somebody, they share the body here and there at all. Because God doesn't want us to be in poor. What is the definition of poverty? The definition of poverty is inability to meet your need. So if you are unable to meet your need, that means that you are poor. And God doesn't want us to be poor. God wants us to be out of it. If you check through your life and you are experiences financial insufficiency, that makes me understand that somewhere, somehow, something is not right. That means that you are not paying your tithe. That means that you are not given to support God's work. That means that you don't give your, you better check your giving system because God is a God of principle. And if you read Genesis chapter 8, verse number 22, it says that whilst the earth remains, she time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter and day and night, shall and will not cease. Let me take the sea time and harvest. The sea time and harvest is a principle or is the principle of law that the scientists call the law of action and reaction. Now this law says that to every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. And this is the same law that governs the law of gravity. Now they say that everything that goes up if it is not held up will surely come down. And this was the same law that the wise man was talking about when he said that he that wants to have many friends should first show himself how to be friendly. So therefore, if I desire to have a lot of friends, Bishop, I ought to be friendly. And this was the same.